Amazing signs and wonders confirm a long lost Bible message. Glory or veil. Believe it or not, the Bible declares woman as made for and the glory of man, yes the glory of man who ought to have power and liberty about her head because and with the angels. The Bible declares her long hair a glory and covering, yes a glory and covering and counts lacking proper covering as being grimly shorn, and states, if it be a shame to be shorn let her be covered. But religion hearing all this, concluded that women thus should be covered in a manner as also disregards her long hair, and appears too similar to being grimly shorn, or even as a witch, a complete reversal of intended glory. Even further, according to the Greek, the Bible clearly states long hair was given instead of a veil, likely rebuking oppressive pagan veiling as was already practiced at that time and long before. The Bible declaring woman's long hair a glorious covering, and a shame to remove and given instead of a veil is a most misunderstood and overlooked matter. Yes God certainly cares about the glory of who he created to be the glory of man, but the doctrine of devils, which the Bible says rejected marriage rejected woman's glory as well, and somehow totally reversed our Bible's glorious message. The Bible advocating feminine glory rather than feminine veiling and obstruction has many glorious and liberating implications. Religions for too long have been oppressed misunderstanding and misrepresenting our good God who withholds no good thing. To see more, including many phenomenal signs and wonders God has given to confirm these issues see pleasewatchit.com or veilorglory.com. And lastly, in concluding here are given several clarifying pages to pause and read, thanks for watching.